low world. Sometimes you just have to leave. That's all. You don't have to be hard on yourself when you feel like falling apart. Sometimes it's okay to just wake up, eat meals, and leave. I know it's hard when you have already lost interest in everything that the world could offer. Quit thinking about giving up on yourself because you are the only one who can help yourself now. No matter what you are going through, promise yourself that you will survive it. Because the truth is, you need yourself the most right now. At the end, you realize it's just you. No one is coming to save you. No one can understand you at the depth you want them to. No one can lift you up other than yourself. No one can be there for you all the time. And no one else can overcome the thoughts that are weighing you down. It was always you. It will always be just you by the mind vibe. To agree on the story of Anna that beauty of a person is within their pure heart but if you have a good values you are really genuinely beautiful this story of Anna it reminding us that in life the road is not smooth that there are humps along the road before we reach our goals new project of Anna it captioned that night something in Sarah just snapped Gazing at her friend in the mirror, she sat in a chair, placed her hand on her burning cheek, and sank into deep thought, what would it feel like to vanish from this place? To reside elsewhere? If she had a different mother, a different home, if only she could just get away from here. Perhaps it was her mother who would vanish instead. Would it be like if her mother simply disappeared? As she gazed into the mirror, scratching her sore cheek, she began to think, wish her mother to vanish into thin air. Imagine her mother falling into an abyss, into a bottomless void, into infinite darkness, screaming. She closed her eyes, and when she opened them again, instead of her own reflection in the mirror, she saw her mother. She was in her room. After a moment, she made her way up to the attic, approached the edge of a large window, and felt the rush of wind. Thirteen today, Anna. He is in room this time, and guys, for sure you will be happy for Simone as to what he is doing here. Really? Simone power nap? Or you can catch many heart out there by the way you look? So yes guys, Simone is in Rome to take a shooting scene. I am getting more excited as to what is this new project of him. Ah, oh, after Rome, Simone is in Dubai this time. Wow, Simone is really into work and work. We'll find it out soon what will be the project of Simone here in Dubai. For now, let's explore where will he gonna be staying. a refreshing cool aura look of Simone. Hope he maintained this fresh look of him. Ra, is Mora trying her hand into a movie now based on her story? We will find it out. New artwork of Mora, she captioned it. Age of Innocence. Oh, why the Age of Innocence? I can't get it. Can anyone know why? Yes, this is the time Wara takes a vacation in Spain. This is one of the glimpses of behind the scene of Michele in Simple Fable 2 when in Capri, so very serious he was as he is focused at work. Let's all take a look at it!
Aha, nice great one. As Ruba said, she is into adventures with one of her boss. Enjoy it, Ruba. You are Ruba, but it is really a wonderful adventures of yours. From work after Turkey, she is in Dubai. Alisa Abbasis and team as Eli Arabia announces first ever media collaboration with Elisa Aben Instagram introducing next-gen creators for fashion from the Middle East and with also the Elisa Abmaison unveils residential tower with Ohana development on Al Riyam Island in Abu Dhabi. Pep, hooray Ruba on your career! Thank you for watching my video today. Comment your reaction below. Don't forget to click the like button. Share this video to others and please subscribe on my channel. The 130 of the 366 days of 2024. Message to all. A beautiful love language is consideration. When someone thinks about your feelings before making decisions, pay attention to details and goes the extra mile to make a light a little easier for you. How much someone cares about you can actually be found in how much they consider you. Relationship without emotional safety is not a relationship. It's an attachment or trauma bound. You deserve to express freely, to voice your needs, to require a solution after conflict, and to feel emotionally safe in your relationship. When you met someone who tries their hardest to stay with you, no matter how difficult you are, keep them. Hold on to them tightly because finding someone who cares enough to overlook your flaws doesn't happen every day by the mind vibe. It's the best one, a relationship that's private but not secret. People know you are together but don't know anything about both of you. There's a difference between privacy and secrecy, and that's the perfect one by the teens love.